Uh, yeah, something else uh, I was thinking of doing, of showing, was like an overview of... This has probably been done a million times before. But an overview of uh, the tools in sculpt mode. Um, uh, yeah, it's fairly simple. So when you first go into sculpt mode, by default you have the smear shape tool thing which means you can hold R2 and just drag around and it'll make a squiggle but you can see um, it's not like a smooth edge to or a smooth surface to this um, because it's actually unless you go like really slow and then it's harder to see the um, the individual cubes but it's basically just a load of individual cubes being spat out over time like each frame or something um, whereas stamp shape is just a single cube or whatever shape so even if you hold R2 and then drag it around nothing happens it just stamps it at the original spot um, now stamp shape mode if you go L1 and square you can adjust the shape and stuff you can also add, add blend amount which you can't do with smear you can only do it with um, the stamp so then you can smear you can uh, blend stuff like that oh yeah Uh, let's just do a stamp. Uh, by the way, uh, triangle swaps between positive and negative, like that, uh, with the stamp and smear. Um, uh, you can use R1 to zoom in and zoom out of these shapes as well. Uh, yeah, there's one special thing so these shapes can all be edited with L1 and square um, let's grab the pyramid the pyramid has a special one where it has these corners are completely malleable and you can but you can stretch out the side as well um, um, now the curve has special handles so when you first grab it let's reset that again by just going to it again so um, if you're in smear mode then you can just drag it out and it will make a smooth edged thing or try to so if you can you can see these bobbles because it's lots of spheres with this one it's basically lots of um, curves now the actual curve, if you go L1 and square, you have this special handle and then you have all these handles. So you can drag these around and make it any shape you want. You can drag these end ones in and it makes that end thinner or out and it makes it fatter. Um, and then you can like stamp it. Oh, reset shape, I didn't notice that before. Uh, then you can like stamp it um, or circle and that now you're moving around and can stamp it as normal and uh, if I uh, you can smear it as well um, however if you just grab the default one without changing its shape and you are in smear shape mode you can just hold R2 and or, or X, X works with these as well and just move it around and you still see a few bobbles but most of the time it's smooth because like that's one curve say and then that's another curve and then that's another curve that kind of stuff so it tends to be a lot smoother than normal cool and uh, something to be aware of as well is I'm a potter um, if you uh, hold R2 all the way in then it's full scale uh, curve so if you put it lightly in and then you get it far, far, far. and now it's like a root vegetable of some kind um, 
yeah, so that could be useful. Let's grab a cube. Um, something to mention, by the way, if um, uh, so, there are these tools here, which, like, if I grab red, like that, then it will uh, make it red, and and if I make uh, use the looseness tool, for example, and make it really loose, then that'll affect that area and make it that amount of looseness. However. Uh, if you just have a normal positive shape, you can still affect the looseness uh, and you can still affect the colour. So that shape will be that colour and looseness and blend and whatever else. Um, but also, if it's in a negative shape, then the surfaces that that makes will also apply that colour and um, looseness and stuff. If we zoom in, you can see it's very loose because we got it turned up um, and you can add a hole like that and get all sorts of cool shapes and whatnot.